Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. I'm Pan and today you guys are in for a treat because we're doing a very requested, super dirty, disgusting, filthy maintenance wash of this 2018 Hyundai Tucson that I have behind me. As you can tell, a lot of road grime, crazy road salt accumulated because we're in Montreal, Canada. Right now we're in the middle of winter. Uh, this vehicle is a daily driver. The owner does not have a garage, so it's kept outside 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, and yeah, as you can hopefully tell, of course, it is very dirty. We're gonna go through the entire steps for the exterior and the interior as well, as you can tell on camera is, uh, yeah, I don't know what goes on in there, but it's disgusting. By the way, I'll leave the links to all the tools and products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. And uh, you know the drill, without further ado, stay tuned, let's go ahead and start the show. All right, let's get this deep cleaning started. I first start by placing some detail guards hose guides underneath each one of the four tires, and this prevents your hose from getting stuck under the tires as you're moving around the vehicle. I then proceed to do a uh, first rinse. So with a pressure washer, this helps to remove a lot of the initial grime and rolled salt, as you can tell on camera. Next, I'll use an undercarriage cleaner that attaches directly to the pressure washer wand thanks to the quarter inch quick connect options. And this allows you to remove any grime and dirt uh, and uh, road salts again from the uh, chassis or the undercarriage. And as you can tell, a lot of dirt and gunk is coming out of there. So yeah, we're just attacking every single portion of the vehicle. Before cleaning the paintwork, I always start by cleaning the wheels and tires because those are usually the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. So I use my foam cannon to spray a wheel and tire cleaner. I dilute that 60% of the uh, wheel cleaner and 40% water inside the foam cannon container. I use a stiff bristle nylon brush for the, uh, the tires to scrub the tires. And then I have a uh, fender well brush to go in those inner fenders to remove any dirt again, uh, any debris and all that kind of stuff. And then I have a wheel brush for the wheel faces. Uh, these are hubcaps, so if they were actual rims, I'd have another brush to go deep inside the uh, wheel barrel as well. Next, I'm gonna prep the mix for the uh, foam cannon and the pre-wash. Uh, always follow the instructions of the uh, snow foam that you're using, but in this case, it was two ounces of snow foam and 20 ounces of water, so a 10 to one dilution ratio. Mix that up in your foam cannon container and you're ready to uh, start spraying the snow foam as part of the pre-wash. So we do a pre-wash with a foam cannon and your pressure washer to spray a thick layer of uh, snow foam, as you can tell here, and this helps to remove any loose dirt or contamination or debris before you go ahead and do the contact wash. So this is in an effort to uh, do all that in order to minimize scratches and swirl marks while you're washing the car, as that's where the majority of the swirls and scratches happen. That means in the uh, contact wash and during the drying of the car as well. So we always use safe washing and drying methods.
So now is the time for the actual contact wash. So I use the two bucket method. One bucket is the rinse bucket with clean water and the other one is the wash bucket that contains the soapy solution. Always work from top to bottom. So the uh, least contaminated parts or the least dirty parts are always the top parts of the vehicle. And of course the dirtiest parts are the lower parts. So you do want to avoid cross contamination and that's why we work in thirds. So the uh, top part and the glass, then you go to the top of the doors to uh, roughly the middle part of the doors and you leave the lower parts of the doors and the rockers and the sills and the bumpers for the end. This is always in an effort to minimize the amounts of swirls and scratches while you're washing your paint during the contact wash stage. Also, don't apply too much pressure on your mitt when you're washing. Let the mitt do the job and uh, every other panel you uh, take your mitt and you rinse it in the rinse bucket before dunking it back into the wash bucket. So that way, again, uh, you're minimizing the uh, chances of cross-contaminating from panel to panel uh, by rubbing that dirt in even more. That's how you get swirls and scratches if you're not careful. So always use safe washing methods. So now we're going to decontaminate the paint uh, using a clay towel and an iron remover. So there's a lot of industrial fallout, embedded contaminants and brake dust that over time accumulate inside the clear coat and that gives that gritty surface or that sandpaper-like surface when you touch your vehicle. So you want to remove all that to make the surface as smooth as possible. So in this case, I'm using the iron remover as a clay lubricant. So in some cases that's possible and I'm also using the clay towel. You let the product Product dwell for a few minutes. Never let that dry on the surface and uh, after a few minutes you're going to go ahead and rinse off the vehicle. When drying the paint, I always like to use a microfiber drying towel. So those are uh, safer for the paintwork. Uh, forget those chamois, those are a thing of the past. Uh, you can also use a car dryer or a leaf blower if you want to accelerate the drying. Uh, that's also perfect when your car is protected with some sort of uh, wax, paint sealant, or a ceramic coating. It makes drying a lot quicker. Uh, we also clean the glass using the box method. So you start with the outer edges and work yourself in. Use an ammonia-free glass cleaner, which is safe on tinted glass. And uh, yeah, you're going to get a streak-free finish. If you also use a microfiber glass towel, like in this case, is a waffle weave type towel. For the uh, dressing, always follow the instructions of the tire dressing that you're using. In this case, I'm diluting it one to one with water. So 50% of the product and 50% distilled water. And that gives me the best finish possible. So that gives that last final detailed touch. So guys, after a few hours of work, 
Well, I hope we can appreciate the uh, exterior transformation of this uh, vehicle. Came out pretty good, although it's a uh, almost three year now daily driver that's uh, fully neglected by its driver. Uh, and so if you wanna see part two, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section under the video uh, telling me that you wanna see the inside done now. I think that'll be pretty cool. By the way, all the products and tools that I used in this video, I'll drop links in the description under this video for you guys to check them out. Uh, if you enjoyed this, of course, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel, never miss my future videos, so you can continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. So that's it for me, guys. As I usually say, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.